fashion is all about the here and now. What's a must-have one year can look extremely dated the next. But often, fashion does stand the test of time. As the 21st century approaches, go back on the fashion timeline for a look at yesterday's most memorable collections with Millennium Fashion. Nineteen ninety two. Bill Clinton was elected President of the United States. Boys to Men broke pop chart records. The Prince and Princess of Wales announced their separation. Nineteen ninety two was also the year that lingerie looks took center stage. Romance returned to fashion, but biker chic also ruled with leather and tattoos. Here's a look at the best of nineteen ninety two from the runways of the world. There is perhaps no other city quite as beautiful as Paris, France. Paris is the undisputed fashion capital of the world and the birthplace of haute couture. Through the years, it has been the French who have provided us with images of fantasy and opulence, style and chic. Past and present, French fashion serves as a mirror to the times and an inspiration to the world. The tradition of French fashion begins with materials of uncompromising luxury. The secrets of creating exquisite trimmings have been handed down from generation to generation. Today, through their ready-to-wear collections, Paris's top designers continue the grand tradition of style. To the French, fashion is not just a craft, but an art to be cherished. Here's a news flash of the hottest trends making the scene this season. Long is the length making the most headlines, and the best skirts flash a little leg. Borrow from him for her with masculine pant options. The sexiest way to be one of the boys. And wild things are on the prowl. Beware of faux furs and animal prints. But knit it for a comfort day to night. Modern dressing for the 90s. It's the latest way to be part of the scene. Now designing his sixth ready-to-wear collection for Christian Dior, Italian designer Gianfranco Ferre conquers French style. It's a winning look that blends Dior refinement and Ferre skill. That came out the story, as if you open a case, you take off uh, all the pieces of fabrics and you use them to decorate yourself uh, more in the, the night than in the day. Anyway, without forgetting the activity of a woman, her necessities and uh, her way to be feminine. Femininity is the key to this quietly elegant collection, one of the best in Paris. Every Dior collection oozes luxury. No one creates chic sportswear like Ferret. Sumptuous shearlings and suede have sporty richness. But John Franco's banker pinstripes are the best investment. Ferre is at his finest when he keeps it simple. Black on black is a theme he takes into the night with his embroideries as well. The embroideries, they were just a joke, 
because they were not real embroidery, they were just machine embroideries, quilted fabrics, and over you had uh, something like buckles, something like pieces like that, to figure a new, a new way to decorate. It's real uh, fashion made of pieces to be invested in. And Ferret goes for Baroque with quilted velvet and satin, worked with a modern edge for up-to-the-moment excitement. Modern elegance from Gianfranca Ferret for Christian Dior. German-born designer Karl Lagerfeld is a Paris player on a winning team. No one competes with Karl for creating the best headline makers. The most important thing in the fashion of the 90s are the fabrics, because this kind of look, the tight, tight, tight sleeves, no shoulders, the, the, the long skirts were tight and you can stand walk and so, you couldn't do them even four or five years from here. Huh? The 90s real fashion change are the materials. Lagerfeld's materials keep it long and tight to the body. The long silhouette, not long in the sense of skirt length, but elongated length. In fact, that is that's the story. Huh? I think the moment the girls look very tall. No? And you see, the heels were not even that high. They had not those high shoes I had at Chanel. They had much lower shoes, but I think they still look huge no? and slim. And that's what everybody wants today. No? Carl's long black signature skirts got a new twist this season. You put on tights, and then you put on a transparent skirt, long skirt over it. You have the new proportion, but not the old dowdy look. Jackets for me are the most important items for KL. They are very opposite to the Chanel jacket because it's another style. And I love to work on them, that they fit the body and that they are like sculptures in a way. You remove them, they still have the shape, but they are not stiff at all. There's nothing inside, it's all on cut. But you know, some of those jackets have something like 40 to 50 pieces to, 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 to put it over the body like, and there's nothing in there. They are soft like a handkerchief. Lagerfeld's jackets are precision built, gliding confidently over slim trousers and calf length skirts. Colorful tights add contrast. Sheer black lace stretches femininity to the limit. But on a more demure note, somber black and white still hugs every curve. At night, layers of iridescent chiffon strike the simplest note. Long on style, Paris's number one player, Karl Lagerfeld. Provocative Paris. Here are the tantalizing trends to watch for this season. For spring, the French designers are high on romance. From florals to lace, love is in the air. Shears also turn up in some of the most unexpected ways. And primitive prints add a savage touch to sophistication. Short lengths are still in, but longer lengths are making headlines. And nothing sells like sex appeal, creating frankly provocative style in Paris this season. Christian Lacroix became a star in the 1980s. 
when he burst onto the fashion scene with his bubble skirts and exuberant, colorful clothes. Today, Lacroix's style continues to bubble. I think that fashion is something you do uh, according the, 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 with the woman. It's not just an architecture you put on her shoulder. It has to, to fit with her, to have a certain chemistry with her, and to be part of her. This season, Christian Lacroix surprises the fashion world with his simple takes on sleek style. Nobody expects simple dresses from Lacroix, but his pure white looks are exceptional. Born in Arles, France in the Provence region, Lacroix is always influenced by the ethnic and exotic. For spring, his gingham short suit is sugar sweet. But when Lacroix mixes it all up, his unique sense of mastery comes through. Even simple black and white has never looked more elegant than when mixed by Lacroix. Lacroix's signature look proves that elegant dressing need not be simple. Christian Lacroix loves the outrageous, and his new bathing costumes are flirty indeed. It's a collision course of color, print, and pattern from Christian Lacroix. Lacroix always injects new life into French fashion. Provocative style at its very best, Christian Lacroix. When some people think of Italy, they think of ancient architecture, classic art, or great food. But Italy delivers a lot more than just pizza. True connoisseurs know that Italy is the source of some of the world's most beautiful fashion. Twice a year, press and buyers from around the world come to Milan as their first stop on a worldwide fashion tour to find the unique mix of Italian creativity and craftsmanship. Although the Italians have traditionally been known for their tailored classics, they've now developed a knockout style that's distinctly their own. Here's a front row seat to the best of this season's Italian fashion shows. From classic elegance to sexy sizzling style, the Milan designers create a magical mystique this season. Gianfranco Ferre brings sleek style to life. And every season, Ferre creates elegance with a modern edge. Strange, but I feel this uh, Chinese mood in London. It's a mixture of uh, Orient and uh, Europe. This is, uh, an old bar in London whose name is China Bar and uh, it has this kind of red and that's from there I start the inspiration. It was a, a famous bar of the 20s. And Chinese red accents Ferre's cleanly tailored pantsuit options. It's a complete uh, sensual freedom 
for everybody to wear as you need and as you like. Here I show different kind of uh, styles for a certain woman. There's a woman very active, that she can be a businesswoman and she can play in different ways. It's the way to be pants, they are our reality. Pants are comfortable, even skirt, but anyway, it's uh, our life. Those, those mixture of those opposites of uh, uh, very expensive fabric like uh, brocade, quilting them with nylon, leather with uh, uh, just something like a tower fabric, but in brocade, this kind of uh, very opposite uh, position to give a, to give a different feeling, a more modern feeling. Ferre continues the modern feeling into the night. A sweeping lapel drapes across the body to create an evening stunner. But you know, it's practicing your activity that you become more and more free, more and more self-relaxed uh, self on creativity. Something that comes uh, from you is not something that you're pushed to, to do. And that's a great freedom. So you can play with different fabrics in different ways, always being a, a foray. And being foray means being elegant and opulent. Rich sophistication for fall from Gianfranco Foray. Romeo Gigli. His clothes are an homage to workmanship and beauty. So the idea of this collection was uh, uh, to meet a girl in the next future, but dreaming the 19th century. So in that way I was playing in a dynamic way with the silhouette, mm -hmm. with dynamic and uh, material like uh, nylon and plastic, uh, and uh, elastic fabric, but all that with uh, uh, fabric from the 19th century, like velvet and brocade, and play with this silhouette and this idea. And ideas are always the focal point of every GE collection. Each season, his fabrics are triumphant. Intricate cutouts add romance to modern silhouettes. And as always, Gigi's coats are magnificent. Dusted gray replaces black for subtle impact. And leather parkas take Romeo's clothes into a new decade. But velvet on pier dresses are simply romantic. Leggings and lace-up boots are the newest anchors at GE. But night times belong to the outrageous, as opulent birdcage gowns flutter. New world beauties from the master of global style, Romeo Gigi.
the Milan Mystique captivates. Here are the hottest trends to watch for this season. Fashion is barely there for spring, as revealing bras, midriffs, and hot pants abound. Dusty shades color the prettiest looks in Italy. It's a new palette for the Italians this season. And trademark Italian tailoring is softened for spring into clean, simple shapes. But it's femininity that flows with wild abandon as tulle, ruffles, and lace flirt, giving Italian design a distinctive edge. Gianni Versace has emerged as one of Italy's most influential designers. Today, his signature style is the essence of modern dressing. For Versace, it's a love affair with fashion. It's a, a romantic feeling, like Fragonard pictures. There is a romantic fabrics, a lot of nice, nice uh, romantic color. The mood is romantic, modern romantic. And romance is in the air, as every one of the world's top supermodels show off Versace style at its very best. Crinoline is naughty and nice this season at Versace. Denim jackets keep the look modern. And outstanding prints have become a Versace trademark. Since 1978, the Versace Signature Collection has always taken a walk on the wild side. But sugar-sweet colors soften the tailored edge for spring. Only Versace can make denim work shirts and leather jeans seductive. Since beginning his fashion career in his mother's dress shop, Johnny's talent has soared. And each season, his collections dazzle. Not only a tribute to Fragonard this season, but the body beautiful as well. Versace's 18th century pastel jackets sizzle. And he strikes it rich with sexy flamboyant metallics a golden treasure which clients like Jane Fonda and Cher will covet. It's sexy clothes for today's confident woman. The Italian master of style, Johnny Versace, who season after season captures the essence of modern fashion. Dolce & Gabbana, the design team of Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana made headlines with their first collection in 1985. Since then, their sexy, provocative style has evolved into a major fashion force. The inspiration of our collection was to make every woman a star. She can become a star in her own way. And this designing duo makes stars with lingerie. From corsets to garter belts, Dolce and Gabbana take lingerie out of the bedroom. Each collection pays homage to femininity. And this season, Tool adds flirt to their provocative style. The Dolce & Gabbana style emphasizes the female anatomy, flaunted in bras and girdles. They keep spring revved up with pearl-encrusted motorcycle jackets and skin-tight satin jeans. Both from Sicily, 
Dolce & Gabbana use the women of Sicily each season as a symbol of their ideal. And they bank on this ideal for spring with ultra-feminine gilded raffia brassieres. For a more tailored line, pinstripe jackets hug the curves. But sweet femininity is the message from Dolce & Gabbana. And the message sells. Sales have increasingly soared at Dolce & Gabbana, proving that women are embracing this sexy style. Kim Bassinger, Julia Roberts, Ellen Barkin and Madonna are all said to be Dolce & Gabbana fans. Jewel-studded, red-hot style to make any woman a star. From Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana for Dolce and Gabbana. London, a city full of fashionable contrasts, where traditional classic style meets street fashion. London gave us an undying loyalty to royalty, and the 60s marked new heirs to the throne. It seemed that everything new and exciting happened in London. We had that excitement in the 60s when uh, London fashion, you know, did influence the world. They did invent the miniskirt. The miniskirt and Carnaby Street marked the 60s. And in the 80s, the London scene was the center for counterculture in fashion and music. Princess Di was the other extreme, an eclectic mix that's pure British style. I think that London will always be the center of, of you know, avant-garde fashion and quirky ideas. London, the city of fashion extremes. Designer Vivian Westwood's influence is global. Each fashion season, the world looks to Westwood for inspiration. And for fall, Vivian takes a little inspiration of her own from bygone Hollywood glamour. It was called Always on Camera, people who like to pose, but also because the theme was Hollywood. A couple of seasons ago, I started for the first time to be interested in 20th century couture, especially Dior, who is just so, such a genius, because it's control, but with all this anarchy inside, really, really technique. And so I started to be influenced by this, and I found that my clothes started to look like Hollywood because those managers of those stars, they exaggerated the French couture. And that's what I'm doing, I'm doing a sort of parody. And then I'm always very keen to do prints to sort of make the theme. And so I, um, I did, took this face of Marlene Dietrich, who's perhaps the best diva ever. The people who want to cut a fashion figure to be avant-garde about fashion have to react against this terrible jogging and all these casual things if they want to look special, if they want to cause a riot. My job, I'm, I'm restricted by two things. One is cloth and the other thing is the human body. And my job is to make the cloth give expression to the body. And of course, the more things you can find technically, the more, the more things you can do. And whatever Vivian does, she does perfectly. Remaining fashion's ideas mogul. Westwood even brings movie star glamour to trousers and jackets, impeccably tailored. And fun fake furs are just wild.
but it's Westwood's long, slinky, flesh-colored dress that's ultra-sexy. A world of creative talent from Great Britain's Vivian Westwood. Quality is the message from Jean Muir. For more than 25 years, Muir translates that message through skill and detail. I hope the mood, economically, is going to be infinitely better than the spring. I hope the world thinks that too. So if you ask me about the mood of the fall, I think that everybody should be wonderfully positive and get everything really jumping again. That's what I hoped I was doing with the collection. If you want to sort of change proportions or change moods or something, you can't do it in a dead serious way. Otherwise it's heavy and boring and sort of contrived, you know. So one's got to treat it eh, in a lovely, eh, slightly humorous way. But the treat for Muir is always simple luxuries. They're all made in Scotland. They're all made in the borders of Scotland, and they're all cashmere, the ones I show. But I mean, I think I always consider that, that the knitting is rather more like painting, really. I mean, I, I think of it in those terms, really, eh? of lovely shape and colour and the patterns. Muir's clothes tend to float. Her signature jersey caresses the female form. Old clothes usually were cut beautifully. Eh? So I hope that my new clothes are cut beautifully, which, <laughs> and as I, as I have worked in jersey for years and years and years, At night, Muir injects a touch of bygone opulence with gilded brocade. But it's wearable ease that makes the Jean Muir line flow. the understated, timeless style of Jean Muir. This season, the English go to extremes. From quirky style to mainstream classics, here are the hottest trends to watch. London swings with sexy, brassy style. This season, dare to flaunt your body in slinky dresses, bustiers, and hot pants. But the other English extreme goes classic. Traditional suits and separates have been updated for modern appeal that never go out of style. And go graphic. Stripes and whimsical prints make a bold dressing statement for spring and summer. And when the sun shines, bare skin is feminine yet provocative. The newest tops bear the midriff for summer chic. The English extremes, giving fashion a new twist. London's award-winning young designer, John Galliano, also chooses to show in Paris. And for spring-summer, this vanguard designer takes a frankly feminine approach. Galliano made fashion headlines while still a student at London's prestigious St. Martin's School of Art. Graduating with a first-class honors degree, Galliano's star continues to soar. John takes an intellectual approach to design, researching historical periods in museums and libraries, then producing watercolor sketches. Next, 
Galliano moves on to the body, draping the fabrics directly on the model. But this season, less is more as the body always peeks through. Body-hugging shapes are a Galliano signature. For spring, his boudoir-inspired collection is unrivaled. But Galliano's passion is fashion, and he spends as much as 15 hours a day in his London workroom. John has been hailed as a visionary, and his early work has evolved into a look that's frankly feminine. Another Galliano trademark has been his circular cutting. For spring, he leaves his seams slashed for an ungodly knockout black dress. John Galliano, making the French boudoir an alluring proposition. The American approach to style. It's sporty, casual, and always eclectic. Americans pioneered the idea of easy mix and match dressing. And today, that street smart influence is making its way into high fashion circles. So here's a peek at what some of America's hottest young design talents are showing for fall. Donna Karen always delivers a knockout collection. Without reinventing the wheel, Karen draws upon past winners to create the right ingredients for fall. It's young, it's sexy, it's masculine, it's feminine, it's about street, it's a contrast for where we've been, it's about items. And from the most basic items, Donna builds her look. It's not about me saying, this is how you have to look. It's an opportunity to have whatever you want to have, however you want to wear it. You know, it's, it's more mix and match. The outerwear that I just adore, the uh, silk down coats, um, the cashmere filled down coats. It's cuddly, it's soft, it's sophisticated. And they're really my kind of clothes. Donna's clothes are about feeling and looking good. Her new long skirts are among the season's best, most wearable grazing below the knee. For me, it's about having fun with clothes. Have a sense of humor about clothes. Don't take them so seriously. If you want to feel vampy, feel fa vampy. If you want to have your non-smoking pins and parts of the body. I felt that it was time to have a sense of humor about clothes a little bit. But her menswear looks are serious business. People were taking masculine to its extreme and making women look like men. And I think it's about having fun with clothes enjoying them a little bit, having, you know, a spirit about what clothes are about. We're young, um, and why get so old so quickly? Have a sense of humor. This season, Donna gives a cold shoulder to seriousness with sexy cutout blouses. And the white shirt casually teams with a tuxedo at night.
all the elements of style from sunup to sundown. From 7th Avenue Diva, Donna Karen. Calvin Klein elevates American sportswear to a new level of high style. Klein does double duty when it comes to all-American chic. Nobody creates understated sophistication like Calvin Klein. For fall, Klein's layering was pure and strong. If you're looking for color, don't look to Calvin, whose muted palette stands out. With a touch of military flair, Klein tucks his slim pants into ankle boots, paratrooper style. Yet it's his construction that demands attention. Calvin believes in long. His narrow skirt is the most successful length in New York. One of the newest things on Klein's runway is the down jacket. Short cropped, yet long on style. Accessories are a new focus for Calvin this season, and a dash of leopard is wild. But it's his two layers of coats that have double impact. It's the 40s revisited with Klein square shoulders and long lean lines. At night, the simplest scoop of a dress is impeccable. Softly tailored pantsuits are pure platinum. But no Klein collection would be complete without a beaded stunner. The sleek sophistication of American master Calvin Klein. your coming attraction to the show-stopping trends to watch for spring-summer. Designers turn up the heat for spring with sexy lingerie looks, as underwear is now uncovered. And the length issue? Long or short options abound. To skirt the issue, the pantsuit is back creating ladies as gentlemen. No American collection can star without stripes, going day to night this season. And the newest shape rings in with a flirty bell, an alluring American attraction premiering this season. Adrian Vitadini gives high fashion mass appeal by designing ready-to-wear that's easy to wear. This season, she continues her signature look of sporty comfort. I wanted to make it a very up, spunky collection, youthful. And I think it has also strong elements of the 40s and the 50s. Born in Hungary, Vidadini came to the United States as a young girl. Her family settled in Philadelphia where she attended the Moore College of Art. Upon her graduation, she worked with Paris's Louis Ferro and Milan's Emilio Pucci. In 1979, Adrienne struck out on her own and became famous 
for making knits fashionable. This season, her cable knit sweaters are instant classics. And she also shines with body-conscious stretch satin knits as well. Vitadini's Euro-American vision combines sophisticated fashion with a sporty edge. Her artistic attention to detail has helped her win fashion's prestigious Cody Award. For summer fun, Adrian goes south of the border with ruffled blouses and hot color combinations. She constantly travels the world in search of new ideas and resources. This season's Mexican inspiration is just one stop on her constant journey. And designers are ruffling everyone's feathers this season. Adrian's ruffles add flirt to her summer sundresses. But she really shouts ole with long flounced skirts that are belted to emphasize the waist. Tulle petticoats add bounce to this season's new full shapes. The knockout global style of Adrian Vitadini.